Welcome back, my friends. Ever hey, give me give you another exciting episode with more Zero Blade Chronicles 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Welcome to it. So last time, because we took on the uh, challenges at the um, at the land of the challenges, and we met this um, no pawn named Ashes. And turns out, because um, we we just uh, skipped along to the progress of just uh, taking on the easiest to normal hard challenges, or some, well, eventually, yeah, well, that's something we we managed to go and get finished on doing, but. Turns out, because um, we got it's, uh, several of the side quests that we had to get finished here in Colony, Colony Lambda, is for the name. Of course, because uh, this is uh, where where we uh, take this is where it takes place to uh, to this colony over here. Because uh, we've been talking to the several of these uh, people, and these guys had to say here, "Hey, bye, bye, bye. Uh, do you know anything about uh, what the uh, Baron's are working on?" I don't, but I hope it's something to stand in uh, for the auto level. Well, sure, our defense could definitely have used some showing up. Okay, so that's the one that said Colony Lambda Defenses. Alright, now that's the one we need to get finished on doing. So let's just uh, double check to make sure if there are any other new, new info that we can go over with these people. So we gotta keep an eye out because there are, there are gonna be several of the new info that we gotta keep an eye out for. Okay, so talking to Pilgrim. What's uh, going on here? Oh, this? We've been uh, preparing it for battle with the Colony 5 and Colony 30 or wh whoever. But you know, you don't really need to fight them anymore, right? Maybe so, but uh, we still have any means that don't we? Got to prepare for the rewards that eventually, eventualities. Uh, ultimately, uh, I'm still doing it pretty much, but same as I always do. These are sitting uh, around on my arse. Um, okay, so talking to these guys, the auto labs are a key to the Lambda the defense. Make sure they're ready to de deploy at the moment notice. I know, I know. Spots to chill out a bit. Okay, so it's the one that says auto lab. Alright, now let's just go ahead and check on it. So are there any other these are people that have a new info? Let's just make sure of it. Okay, so uh, we want to go ahead and keep on exploring Colony Lambda because I know because of there's like a lot of these new people that we could talk to which have stars on it. So talking to Tonya, uh, here at the Lambda, all of the teams that consulted each other for approval before action. We're led on the basis of a clear principle. That's what allow us to grow as a strong, powerful colony. Okay. Um. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check on it up here. Now, Baron have something new to say. Hey, do you a lot to know selling from Colony Tal? Yeah, of course. Why do you ask? Sounds like he found some resources with that probe we lent him. And that's a pretty good news. I think uh, we can uh, expect a great relationship with Colony Tal in the near future. I see some relations have changed. Thanks for all of your help. I don't like lighting like silk now. It's a better after all the uh, shenanigans that you put us through. It by us that you mean Mio. Look, on the bright side, now everyone at the Lambda has uh, some peace of mind. Colony Lambda's former glory can still be restored. It's the first step of the rebuilding process. Okay, so that's all these two have to say. Now, checking in the back, is there anything going on around here? Nothing? Okay. Nothing in particularly. Okay, so at least we got two of the info. Now there gotta be something more going up here, so what's what's up here? Any info up here? Okay, so Azure got something new to say. But we're building an underway, but I say that there's a lot of that we can still do to develop Colony Lambda. Do you have any bright idea for the future, Commander? Well, it would be ideal to have an environment in which each, which each individual can pursue their own target. I'd like you to see it through to the end, if you could. That goes without saying, Commander. Okay, now that's one we got finished on through. Anyway, uh, moving on. So we are going to take um, the, the step through to the, to the uh, campsite where we go ahead and discuss more info to each characters. So uh, let's go ahead and move out of the water. Like this, like no time for the present of taking swimming lesson right now. <clears throat> All right, so we are going to play with Tyon for the very first start, and we'll just go ahead. 
Oh, I'm right ahead and rest up at the, the Lambda shelter. Okay, so this is where we go rest up. And let's just go and craft some gems. Do we have any uh, gems that we can craft? Um, okay, well, something keeps getting interesting. So, it seems like that we got here the one that's called Double Strike 2, which adds up 17% to chance to strike twice per auto attack. Um, yeah, well, you, well we can barely see because it felt like that, that we could actually go and try Double Strike 2. Nothing to be sniffed at. That may seem like a good game to equip. And the one we need to get is called the Tao's Wind Tip. Now, that may seem kind of tricky actually, so it a scene like that we could actually have some of the Isha character go and do double strike free so that it can add up more by higher up to 20%. So that's something we we can't we can't go over right now. So So let's just double check first to make sure that we're well read we're, we're well prepared. Okay, so we got something that say life saving advertise free, which can, can boost the speed of our uh, Ali uh, revival by 25% and raise raise its healing by seven. Okay, you know what? I need to get that so bad. I I need to get that. That may seem like a like a, a good lesson on how we go and use this game because we can actually go and equip the game on several of these characters it's between Mio or Uni. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to waste 12 of my gold no pawn for this. Okay, so I, I, I meant gold no pawn coins. I mean, okay. Close enough. So, let's see what we got going on here. So, it's a fell life that we got new or everything. So, we got the ultimate counter free deals 120% of, of attack damage when you take damage. Uh, Okay. Let's go try that. So we'll go craft one of that material. Um. Okay. So it turns out that we don't have to go and craft any gems. So we're all set here. That should be about enough. Okay. So we did craft at least all three of the gems so far. So we get to go and cook up something. So what can we go cook this time? So we got several of these options over here. Okay, so you know what? We should go get the brisky, breezy, toasty. So we need to get 50% for enemy drop boost and 50% for the collectible boost. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and cook that ingredient. All right, so everybody's going to enjoy their finest meal. So we're looking at, looking at one of her bananas cooking because she did a pretty good job of. Okay, well, <laughs> well, night through the sea, but banana giving Santa some push up, push up lessons there. Pretty well handy. All right, so let's go over with the discuss. So we finished crafting game. We we finished cooking, and we got several of these options to go on. So let's uh, go over with uh, auto labs. I just wanted to confirm. Say those auto labs majiggers are, are pretty nifty, eh? Colony Lambda was uh, once defeated by Colony Thirteen owing to their special tactic. Commander Shord must have been deterred from a fighting head on and requested them from the castle. The autonomous uh, Lavnesses, as you mean? Yes, historically, the, the colony had performed uh, admirably, in fact, they must have con contributed to the request of being granted. But the commander then used the uh, Lavnesses and prevail over Colony 13, and the remain a garrison at the Lambda. If they work without needing a dedicated pilot, that is in itself uh, is uh, already a big help. And now, for some reason, they're, they're all down in the tunnel. They do have the advantage of safely operating in places that which would other, otherwise be very dangerous for humans. Well, then, a massive kudos to the, whoever came up with the idea. Indeed, I'm sure Commander is sure to figure out if it's a particular usage scenario very quickly. Yeah, well, I gotta say, I prefer to not to the head to the fight him again. As far as I'm concerned, I'd be much happier if those mothers are just as stuck into the mining rocks. Okay, so each uh, game gets uh, 100 SP. Or is it, what, the ESP? Okay, my mistake. Okay, so now the next one is the uh, Colony, Colony Lambda Defense. So let's go and discuss that topic. So that's a new side quest. 
Seems like a, a bloke named Brain working on some kind of prototype. Yeah, and everyone are hoping it'll help boost the lambda defense. I wonder what it could be. Surely you're not a new type of auto lev. Why don't we just uh, nip along and have a gender? We gotta have some mistake in this, right? Yeah, I say so. Lambda defense are concerned us too. Okay, so this is something that say new development. Okay, so we can go and accept that. And that's all we have to do. That's it. You know what? I'm assuming that, that, that we have not done the one that said the, the no pawn are here. Okay, that take place somewhere back in Jup Juniper Colony. Alright, so we can exit out Ugh, of this uh, campsite. And we'll go and check in with Quest. And check in for Quest for today. It says here, new development. So Varen is a developing something to strengthen the lender, the defenses. Go see how he's getting on. Okay, now looking at it here for the reward, we get one of his uh, star necklace. Well, that may seem quite as useful actually, so keep that in mind. This uh, star necklace is uh, worth a fortune. So these characters must figure out what to, to do with this uh, star necklace. While, we're, while we go and beat one of his uh, side quests. So um, I, I want to go ahead and check in with with Gems and everything, so I'm gonna check in with Mio. We're gonna go to Gems, and we are going to, to check in with with the uni. So uh, let's go over. So it seemed like to me because we already got the the, the one that said life saving advertise free. So I already got equipped it to East Two. Okay, so East Two already got equipped by the life saving advertise free already. Okay, now what we got going on here? So you know what? Yeah, we got the ultimate counter free already got equipped it already. And you know what? Let's go and remove the empower combo one. So what Len need to go learn now is called double strike two. So that get him more by 70% chance to increase up higher rates so that so somehow the the accuracy will go and hit to or strike the attack so that it can go and, and, and like critically take per second of, of attack. So that's something I, I'm not even I'm like sincerely sure if I'm studying math correctly. Because um, if we look at it here because the double strike two can automatically go ahead and attack twice a time. I mean it has like less per second of chance to go and strike the advantage for for increase up length attacks or, or something. I mean that's that's so far I can see. Now, looking at Senna, so it seems like that she's good to go. Okay, so it seems like everybody is all set now. So we don't have to do we don't have to do nothing for your character right now. So Noah is all set there. Okay, so we check in with Gim. Let's just check in with accessory see what we get here so let's uh, try out let's try out this, this uh, nest accessory so we have here it the, wait a minute now you know what hold on now I don't think we have yet get to the star necklace yes but that's only if we're allowed to complete the um the, the request so hold on now there is a now as you guys can see here so when you complete the challenges you get here it tie on swimwear a Look, which the list fashionable and so cool in the DLC. Because it seems like he should have been one of these characters that can actually go and uh, equip the, the the one called Swimwear A. But it's so cool to see because I like the way how Uni Fashmo clothes is supposed to look in this whole game. So yeah, let's just move on to the side quest. Uh, no sticking around on under our nose here. What comes around newer? Okay, so there burn right now so let's go have a talk as you come to the heaven and know that around at this as well what are you talking about so you didn't come to look at the sensor that i developed what did it do exactly it's a reactor enemy in symmetry this is a little thing that indispensable for putting it on a night to show defense of the power without having it to rely on outer left it enables you to despite enemies without expending manpower very clever i really want you to get them installed all over the place i don't suppose that you be up for helping us? Are you sure we're gonna touch them? It's a wonderful thing for enemies. 
no need to worry on that up front if they can uh, tell the difference. So it's a, a bit like pity the other lab, yeah? Yeah, go on then. Will I help you out? Great. So the first installation I need to do it on the old cliffside way. Shall we? Okay then. So let's uh, set the offering. So it says old cliffside way. Okay, so whatever that side quest is, it had to be somewhere in the destination map. So let's go and find that. Okay, and we can work somewhere back here in the old way camp. So it's a fast shovel back to that other side of the region. So we just make a we should make a right left left turn on the west and go ahead and check in with the old cliffside way. But you know what? We we can't we need to stick around because um there are several of these these collectible that we gotta keep an eye out for. So we're we'll gonna hear the one that's called Mudclam. I'm not sure what they're used I'm not sure what they're used for. I mean Well stick around, I mean they're like more to, to come around. Okay, so we got the, the King Mari Gold. Okay, so now we're up at the hill. There aren't actually many roads in between the Colony Lambda and Makfa Wildwood. Which means that is that we don't get the people out here in the event of an attack or we're in trouble. Yes, you need to fortify this point. If anything were to come through here, you have a problem. Right, so let's install one of the sensors around here. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's do that. No sign of any enemies right now. Let's then move on to the next. Next point of call is the uh, Uraean Tunnel. Okay, so we have to move to uh, the mine number three area. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and stick around there. And we're, it was so far away, we can't actually get to it on time. So the fast way to get there is back somewhere at the Pentelus region, and it's at my Mima Gate. So that's where we work there. Okay, so it's the quickest, quickest way of how we get back to to this uh, one extraction point back somewhere in the Uraean tunnels. Okay, now here we are now. So this is the, the um this is our destination. So this is the spot where we enter to the rain tunnel. And so it's the same area from before. This a lot like another place that enemy soldiers would like. Installing it right inside of the tunnel might not be the best idea. Agreed. It there would be a more beneficial here where Lemda could reach it at a moment notice. Around here, yeah. Um, okay, now that's one setup, and that's all in place. If there anywhere else that you want to put it on, let me see. Hold up, isn't there a waterway around here? There is, but why? It's just that we came out from uh, over there, so uh, what's through to stop your enemies uh, from doing the same? Yeah, good point. Let's uh, go and uh, put the one up uh, over there too, man. Alright. Okay. So it says a uh, Great uh, Kate Falls area. Okay, so that's the that's our waypoint. So we can just get there on foot, or make it much more faster that we can use destination point. And it's the quickest way how we go in landmark somewhere back here in the for Azos. So for Azos is uh, where we we go work to the, this uh, teleportation landmark or whatever this uh, place might take us here. Hmm, yeah, here she'll be okay. If they come via the waterways, it's better to focus on the shoals rather than wherever the water deep. And the wish that case of this look like a suitable place. There are other lands nearby too. Yes, if it seems like a, a no-brainer. And an isle or a tactician has spoken. What? Surely this is uh, blindingly obvious. Then it's uh, decided. Here's a show you go. Okay, now that's the third sensor that we put on, and that's all of them. Now you just need to keep an eye on them regularly. Right, Colony Lambda has invested in so much in its defense that, uh, got a message coming in. Okay, so he got a message. Uh -huh. Aha, yeah, I hear you and that's uh, on the old cliff to side way. What's happened? Just a little wrinkle. They want me up at the old cliff side way. Is the sensor okay? Not sure. That's what I'm hoping to find out. Well, go with you. 
We come this far already. I'm glad to hear it. All right, so it's a sea like it's a, a long way to, to get back to to the, the old cliff side way. So uh, let's go use the destination map, and we can work our way back to the uh, campsite with the rest of it in the no part. Yeah, because it's going to take like a uh, hundred miles away to uh, to get to the uh, to the other side, but not in a, in a, by the long shot. But yeah, that's how we go work back to No Pines Old Way Camp. All right, so here we are. So moving back to our landmark and our destination here. Sarge, did you install this? Er, yeah, I'm sure that you're aware. But Sir Antonia has an assault troop. They're the best of the best. You cannot have put these fans up without the uh, exquisite approval from the top. I'm sorry about this, but you're going to have to take them all down. Oh, what? You engineers are always a disruption of the system because you just, just uh, go on ahead and do what you please without ever asking. You don't uh, get to, the, to get the special treatment, don't you hear? All requests must be made through the proper channel. Well, perhaps. What, you're just uh, gonna back down? You're gonna let her uh, talk to you like that? She's a, a stickler uh, for the, the rules. And she doesn't uh, get on uh, with the engineering uh, because uh, we work outside the rules. She uh, won't listen to me uh, no matter what I say. But uh, someday Lambda might be glad to have these uh, sensors. Oh, very useful. I fully agree. And uh, that's exactly why you need to, to get the proper approvals. Hey now, hold on a minute, Tonya. Captain, if there is something I can do for you? Captain Arrow supervises the troops. Sergeant Tonya reports it into him. A request that just came in from the engineers. Are you weren't around, so I approve it in your place. If that's your decision, then of course I shouldn't be the one to the game say. I'm just trying to make your life easier. Your love of the job is admirable, but the being too ragged is a problem of its own. Captain, you're too soft. If you care to keep the soldier disciplined, then my word is final. Anyway, everyone has ticked with the right bosses and got the right stamp, so we can all go home. Thanks for that, Captain. Captain, I'm not done yet. I ask that you stay behind. Oof, I think you're convinced to touch us too seriously. So that's the state of affairs. Okay, so now we have to go and talk to the Baron. Alright, so it seems like he's way too far away back at Colony Lambda. So yeah, so Colony Lambda is where we're going. So we can warp someone back at the canteen at the rest spot there. Yeah, so um it's it's just gonna take us um twenty seconds to to deceive it's that game load or was it ten seconds for the game to the load? Alright. Well yeah, ten seconds is um it's a it's a worth short of notice in there because Technically, we, we did work to the uh, shortest way back to back to where we picked up somewhere in Colony Lambda. So talking to Baron, sorry about all that. I didn't mean to, to get you caught up in, in it, it as well. If the captain hadn't come along at just at that moment, the whole project would have been torn down. That's what happens when you don't get your funds in, in the, on time. Even things that the colony needs that had to go through the proper channels, eh? Colony Lambda's ability to enforce the order of food uh, regulation that uh, had always uh, been one of its strong points. Yet uh, somewhere along the way it became uh, bogged down in the needless uh, protocols. I mean, I get the why they uh, have this uh, approval system. It uh, makes it easier to know who's responsible for that. That sort of leadership that can even stand against silver colonies in wartime. But uh, now that they have been released uh, from any need to fight for the regulation become shackles of confusing everyone. Colony Lambdas are standing at a crossroad right now. Should they change or not? Okay, and there's that. So that's why one of this quest completed. And we got here into the Star Necklace. So despite the Baron's invention being superb, superb Colony, Colony Lambda strict the regulation nearly prevented it from getting it implemented. Alright, well, that settles them. So we, we're not going to, to stick around to the main story right now. So we are going to stick around to check in with the accessory and we uh, check to see who's going to to get the, the star necklace so can it be Noah? okay so this grant 65% resident to shackle arts okay now who can be compatible of uh, equipping the uh, star necklace okay now let's check in with Senna 
Okay, so do we want this uh, titanium support to get removed? Okay, no. So we, we go lose 240 agility and that go decrease it down by 186. We don't want that. Okay, so we want the golden anklet to stay and the silver belt to stay on it too. But you know what? Let's get rid of the silver belt. We won't be needing that. Well, does it seem like that Senna can keep only but the 529 attack? But you know what? I don't know. I mean, we, we, we might, we, we, we probably not get that. Okay, so who can be compatible of getting the star necklace? Okay, you know what? This shell Camille will get removed. Now, Tyon got nothing to do with the shell Camille, so we're going to have to remove that and see if a Tyon can go learn the star necklace. Okay, let's just hope it go and grants more but 65% resonant to Shackle Art. I sincerely hope we, we use that during battle. Okay? Anyway, I think we're done here, you guys. So, um, take a look at the interlink. Uh, let's go over. Okay, so we have it's, uh, one of his uh, art already equipped. And each character have more but um but let's see they have more about 400 400 sp some of them got 385 but some of them got more but higher by 40 400 sp so we're gonna start off with noah because he have 490 sp so let's check in with some art here so what else can we go learn this time so i wanted to not go learn bounding in anymore so let's see now what we got going on here. So you know what? I'm gonna go for the Unison Strike, which uh, grants a high critical damage. Unison strike. So yeah, let's go try one of that. And checking in with skills and everything. So you know what? I think we're all set here. So let's just go. Let's just go over with uh, some Soul Tree. Okay. So what else do we got? Okay, so we gotta start by on another route. So there's something that says Lint Boys greatly boosts the damage dealt to when an alley is a down slash a has a low HP. Um, okay, you know what? I'm interested. You found okay, so we just go for the one that says enhanced skills. And we should keep on building up more heat control. So we can get one one for that. So several of these soul trees are going to the cost more expensively. So So we got here the one that's called Glorious Wind with power chart for all. Okay, so we should definitely go and try one. But wait a minute, not so fast. We gotta keep going for before we we get the one from further bottom. So this is something that said that's thirty D up. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna come back with the uh, the Glorious Wind last. So we should probably get something good. So this is Dexterity up, which is boosted Dexterity by 50%. So that's more that we can manage. You found power. And that's all we, we got to look for our Ouroboros. Our okay, so you know what? I think we're not done yet, so I think we gotta go and, and keep upgrading more to each character. So we can get more of this Radiant Rain. Yeah, I can, I, I can hear ya. Okay, so this is biting, oh uh, sorry, bidding back. So it says invading deals of 200% of attack damage and boosts the damage dealt by 20% up to the mass of 300%. Okay, so that can, that can get further increased by upgrade. Okay, moving on to uni. Okay, so we should keep on upgrading more to each character. A new power, eh? Okay, we are feeling a, a chart. So, yeah, let's go get the one called Healing Power Up. So that go boost her by 25%. A new power, eh? New power is everything. Okay, so we got here is uh, the, the, the rage ability going on here. So let's go ahead and increase up the attack up by 25%. We can gain extra boots. A new power, eh? All right, and we're moving on to the Tyon. All right, Tyon, old buddy, what can I get you for today? Okay, so you know what? The the, the lurking spider, 190 SP. Let's get that. More to add to the playbook. All right, and the critical up for 40 SP. Let's get that More full upgrade. 
and the one called Inkeith and Kirk. Okay, well, we're gonna come back to that later. Okay, so this is something that says a lock art canceling. So that costs 225 SP. Allow you to cancel one art into another art, but the doing so will fill up of a heat decay slightly. Okay, now we knew we already uh, got that full upgrade already, so we, we should start off somewhere. Okay, where should we start? Oh, okay, you know what? So, now, the most important thing is that we gotta start somewhere on the, the middle, which it says a lot of art canceling. Yeah, well, Lance is getting everything. He, he, uh, he gets all the, uh, the good stuff here. So, so this last four for Senna, so she got 439. So we're just gonna keep on getting everything. So this is the one that say oh, Extreme power. Pursuit. Grants a large increase to the damage dealt when attacking enemy during combos. So that will get that so that will gain further upgrade. So this is something that's called the Explosive Spirit, which is called 190 SP. Own combo reaction boost the damage dealt by 50% up to a maximum of 500%. Okay, so we can, we should go try that, and we can come back to to upgrade our interlink of our Ouroboros later. So I think we're done here. So we're all set, and we don't have to do nothing around here in the Lemda. So it, it seems like that Lemda is is not half done yet, because there is another info coming somewhere at the back, and we have to go and get that one done. So. That's gonna have to do it for the day, you guys. So next time on the Zero Blade Chronicles 3, we are gonna stay a while a little bit. And just to get the quality Lambda and 100% finished on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere and you will be particularly on staying tuned on the next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you're liking the series and you want to see more of Zero Blade Chronicles 3, be sure to leave an advertising like, share the video, video and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you'll be set up to notify when we're using awesome videos have another way. So that's gonna have to do it for today for all of you guys. For a zero play critical free, we will be picking up more in the next one. So take care you guys and I hope to talk to you on the next video.